Last night we had three and a half hours with an army of where's the math people who had Googled me to death and found every single positive thing that I had said about connected math or things of this sort. I was on the original team that did the development you know, as an advisor. And their idea is that anything you ever said or believe in your whole life, you're responsible for it. <laughs> right? And when I Googled myself, I actually agreed with almost everything. Which is terribly disappointing. Because it means I haven't learned anything. It haven't changed your ideas. Goodness gracious. So, so these, these metaphors actually are very positive things. People say that the, you know, when you're an educator and people are throwing rocks at you, you want to say, let's get the politics out of education. Because the politics is really there. You go to the organizer who sent me the note, Shalomar Backman. And you get on the website, and you discover that she's a signatory to the Alliance for the Separation of School and State. And when you go to their website, it says they'll have to pry our children from our cold, dead fingers. <laughs> but she has a nice note about new teachers. We're not your enemies. We'll help you transition into private schools. <laughs> so, I mean, Google is a very interesting thing. Because when I get a question all the time of using calculators and how that's hindering students from their growth, uh, having better computation skills and just the, the benefits versus the costs of letting them use the calculator, I think that's always a discussion that we have. Phil, Phil. Yeah. So let me answer it twice. One, if you're in a situation that's, uh, let's call it, the best advice is don't answer that question. You're being invited to fight a battle on a hill that's been custom made to turn you into a fool. And there's no way to win. So it basically, it, it general advice I give in the math wars, num advice number one, you have to realize that their strategy is to attack you, not your ideas. And they're gonna fool you by making you think they're attacking your ideas. If they're attacking you, you don't defend yourself with ideas. Ideas are a poor, a poor weapon. What you really want to do is take away their best weapons. You want to disarm them. And that their two best weapons can be taken away very simply. You stand up and you're identifying yourself to this audience of worried and frightened parents. Who you are, right? So the first thing you say is, I believe all students should know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide without calculators. That's the first thing you say when the calculator issue mm -hmm. comes up. And everything after that, you, when they say calculators, you say technology. Do you think, uh, when, if they ask you a question, after you first you say what I just said, then if they ask you about calculators, you say, well, technology is very important, but it's no substitute for mathematics.